when a stock can be bought well below its business value, uh, that probably is the best use of cash. It's something the Washington Post did on a huge scale back in the 1970s. Teledyne may have bought 90% or something or close to it of their stock back. Warren Buffett, one of the greatest investors of our time, has a well-documented love for dividend-paying stocks. In fact, as of 2023, Berkshire Hathaway's annual report showed it received over $3.8 billion in dividend income. That really shows how powerful dividends are. But what if I told you that there's another layer to the strategy that could potentially double your gains? It's all about finding those rare gems, stocks priced less than their business value. We're almost always a buyer of stocks, and we're a more aggressive buyer when they're going down. I mean, I, I, I feel much better when they're... Not only do you get a steady income from dividends, but you also set yourself up for significant appreciation as the market corrects these undervaluations. Let's look back at a famous rich person, John D. Rockefeller. He once said, do you know the only thing that gives me pleasure? It's to see my dividends coming in. This shows us that even a long time ago, smart people knew that getting regular money from dividends was a great way to build wealth. Nowadays, smart investors are looking for these kinds of stocks that not many people are paying attention to. These undervalued stocks are special because they grow in value and also pay you money regularly. So today, we're going on an exploration inspired by none other than Warren Buffett, one of the greatest investors of our time. We will talk about how investing in undervalued dividend stocks, like the ones Buffett might pick, can help you become financially independent for good. Specifically, we'll highlight seven such stocks that are currently undervalued, but possess the potential to secure your financial freedom. We will also discuss the practical steps to identify these stocks. But first, let's look at what makes dividends so special. As Warren Buffett often points out, dividends are essentially your cut of a company's profits. When you put your money into dividend-paying stocks, you're getting a slice of the earnings pie. But here's where it gets interesting. Not all dividend stocks are on the same level. The real gems, they're the undervalued dividend stocks, the ones the market hasn't fully appreciated yet. These overlooked stocks aren't just sitting pretty, they're working hard. They offer a higher yield, meaning you get more money back on your investment. Plus, there's the potential for the stock price to go up as the market starts to catch on to what you already know, that these stocks are worth more than their current price. Warren Buffett himself has said, whether we're talking about socks or stocks, I like buying quality merchandise when it's marked down. That's exactly what we're aiming for with undervalued dividend stocks. You're essentially buying a dollar for 50 cents and then getting paid dividends while you wait for everyone else to realize that dollar's true worth. So why focus huh? on these undervalued dividend stocks? Because they get the best of both worlds. They earn money now through dividends and bet that the stock will go up in value in the future. It's a strategy that plays the long game, aiming for both steady income and the excitement of watching your investment grow over time. This approach isn't just about making money. It's about smart investing that aligns with the wisdom of one of the greatest investors of our time. As we look more into the strategy of building wealth through dividends, it's important to understand the transformative power of compounding. Warren Buffett, a strong supporter for long-term investment, famously said, My wealth has come from a combination of living in America, some lucky genes, and compound interest. Compounding, in the context of dividend investing, is the process where you reinvest dividends to purchase more shares of stock, which in turn generate their own dividends. Over time, this cycle of reinvesting dividends creates a snowball effect, significantly increasing the value of your investment. Many companies offer dividend reinvestment plans, or DRIPs, allowing investors to automatically reinvest their dividends into additional shares, often without any commission fees. This is a straightforward way to use the power of compounding. By opting into a drip, you're committing to the long-term strategy that Buffett himself would endorse. Let's consider a hypothetical example to illustrate the impact of compounding. Imagine you own shares in a company that pays a consistent annual dividend yield of 4%. Instead of taking these dividends as cash, you choose to reinvest them. Over 20 years, the effect of compounding, especially on an undervalued stock that appreciates in value, can be staggering. 
Your initial investment could grow multiple times over, far outpacing the same investment with dividends taken as cash. Compounding works best with time. The longer you reinvest your dividends, the more significant the compounding effect. This approach aligns with Buffett's philosophy of buying and holding quality stocks for the long term. It's not about timing the market, but time in the market that counts. Now that we've got the appeal of dividends, let's explore the art of identifying undervalued dividend stocks. This is where the real detective work begins. And as Warren Buffett famously advises, it's far better to buy a wonderful company at a fair price than a fair company at a wonderful price. So how do we spot these hidden treasures in the vast ocean of the stock market? First off, understanding what makes a stock undervalued is key. An undervalued stock is essentially a company's share that sells for less than its intrinsic value. Think of it as a high quality product on sale. The market might overlook these stocks due to short term challenges, negative sentiment, or simply because they're flying under the radar. But for the keen eyed investor, they represent a golden opportunity. Let's look at the criteria for selection. Number one, Look for companies with strong fundamentals, healthy balance sheets, consistent revenue growth, and good profit margins. These are companies that can weather economic downturns and emerge stronger. As Buffett puts it, I try to buy stock in businesses that are so wonderful that an idiot can run them, because sooner or later, one will. Charlie Munger, my partner, and I, in you know, 54 years now, we've never made a decision based on an economic prediction. We make business predictions about what individual businesses will do over time. Number two, attractive dividend yield. An undervalued stock with a high dividend yield is like huh? finding a rare gem. It means you're getting a good return on your investment through dividends alone, even before any potential stock price appreciation. Number three, dividend growth. A history of consistent dividend growth indicates a company's commitment to returning value to shareholders. It's a sign of financial health and confidence in future earnings. Number four, market mispricing. Sometimes the market reacts irrationally to news or events, leading to temporary mispricing of stocks. These situations can create buying opportunities for undervalued stocks. Number five, sector analysis. Certain sectors may be undervalued at different times due to macroeconomic factors. Keeping an eye on sector trends can help identify undervalued opportunities. Before you start this journey, you need to do a lot of research and analysis. Start with a broad list of dividend paying stocks and then apply these criteria to narrow down your choices. Use financial news, stock screeners, and company reports to gather information. Remember, the goal is to find companies that not only pay dividends, but also have the potential for capital appreciation. Buffett's investment philosophy emphasizes understanding a company's business model and its competitive advantage, or what he calls the moat. An undervalued dividend stock with a wide moat is less likely to be eroded by competition, ensuring its long-term profitability and, by extension, its ability to pay dividends. Investing in undervalued dividend stocks is not without risks. Market conditions, regulatory changes, or unexpected company-specific issues can affect stock prices and dividend payments. Diversification across different sectors and industries can help deal with these risks. Finally, patience is a must. I'm not recommending that people buy stocks today or tomorrow or next week or next month. I think it all depends on your circumstances, but you shouldn't buy stocks unless you expect, in my view, you. You expect to hold them for a very extended period and you are prepared financially and psychologically to hold them. The market might take time to recognize the true value of undervalued stocks. As Buffett himself practices, being patient and holding on to your investments through market fluctuations can reap significant rewards. After thorough research and analysis, we've identified seven undervalued dividend stocks that present a significant opportunity for investors looking to buy and hold. These stocks have been selected based on their strong fundamentals, attractive dividend yields, and potential for capital appreciation. Here are the top picks for 2024. Number one is Cogent Communications Holding, or CCOI. Cogent Communications is a prime example of an undervalued stock with a strong foundation in the digital communications industry. 
With its specification in high-quality internet access and communication services, CCOI has carved a niche for itself among corporate clients. Its solid dividend yield, supported by long-term contracts and a steady cash flow, makes it an attractive option for dividend investors. Additionally, the growing demand for reliable and high-speed internet, driven by trends such as remote working and digital transformation, suggests a bright growth trajectory for CCOI. The stock's current valuation does not fully reflect these growth prospects, making it an appealing choice for investors looking for undervalued opportunities with potential for both income and capital appreciation. Number 2. Bain Capital Specialty Finance BCSF stands out in the financial sector as a business development company, or BDC, that offers a high dividend yield and invests in middle market companies. Its diversified investment portfolio is designed to generate stable returns, lowering the risks of market volatility. The company's expertise in selecting and managing investments in a variety of industries positions it well for sustainable growth. Number 3. Petróleo Brasileiro S.A. Petrobras, with its vast resources and dominance in the oil and gas sector, offers an attractive proposition for dividend seekers. The company's dividend yield is bolstered by its strategic position in a sector poised for rebound as global energy demands surge. Despite facing regulatory and environmental challenges, Petrobras's investments in deep water exploration and commitment to sustainability signal strong future prospects. The stock's current valuation, weighed down by macroeconomic concerns and sector-specific risks, presents an attractive entry point for investors betting on a resurgence in the energy sector. Number 4. General Motors GM's pivot towards electric vehicles, or EVs, and autonomous driving technologies marks a significant transformation in its business model, aiming for long-term growth in the evolving automotive industry. With a strong dividend yield and substantial investments in innovation, GM is an undervalued stock that could benefit from the global shift towards more sustainable transportation solutions. Number 5. Textron, or TXT Textron's diversified operations, spanning aircraft, defense, and finance, provide a unique blend of stability and growth potential. Its solid dividend yield, coupled with its role in several critical industries, positions TXT as a potentially undervalued stock. The company's investment in innovative technologies and expanding global footprint could drive future growth. For investors looking for undervalued dividend stocks with a balance of income and growth, Textron offers a compelling option. Number 6. Peabody Energy Group or BTU As a leading coal producer, BTU is positioned to benefit from the global demand for energy particularly in markets where coal remains a key energy source. Its high dividend yield is attractive, but it's the potential for capital appreciation amidst energy market dynamics that makes BTU an intriguing undervalued investment. The transition towards renewable energy sources poses challenges, yet BTU's efforts to optimize operations and invest in cleaner coal technologies could mitigate these risks. Number 7. Everest Group, or EG in the insurance sector, Everest Group stands out with its strong dividend yield and growth potential in the global insurance market. As a reinsurance and insurance provider, EG benefits from a diversified portfolio and a strategic approach to risk management. The increasing frequency of natural catastrophes has highlighted the importance of reinsurance, a sector where EG excels. By focusing on these undervalued dividend stocks, investors have the opportunity to capitalize on market inefficiencies, securing high yields and potential for capital appreciation. As we conclude our exploration of undervalued dividend stocks and the strategies that can lead us to financial independence inspired by the legendary Warren Buffett, let's reflect on two straightforward yet essential questions. What steps will you take to start incorporating undervalued dividend stocks into your investment portfolio? And how will you apply the wisdom of diversification to protect and grow your investments? These questions are your starting point as you move forward with your goal of creating a resilient and profitable portfolio. The answers to these questions will guide us as we continue to build our wealth with confidence and clarity.